Hello everybody, in this video, I am going to briefly walk through all the steps of how we can install Anaconda and how to use Jupyter Notebooks, how to install different packages and manage them. And then I will be talking about how we can install PyCharm and assign a Anaconda environment variable to it and how we can run uh, Python programs in PyCharm. So that this these points will be covered in the video. So let's get started. Okay. So the first thing we'll do is uh, we'll go to our browser and just search for Anaconda, Anaconda download and hit and enter. So this, this is the first link that appears. I'll just click on it, individual edition Anaconda. And over here, you can just click on the download button here which will take you down to the different versions available for different operating systems. So we are going to install this on Windows. So I'll choose this option, the 64-bit graphical installer. Once I click it, I can just select on save and it will be saved. I have already saved it so I won't be downloading it all over again to save some time. So after downloading the file, it would look something like this this one so I'll just go ahead and double click and open it so it's very easy to install you just have to click next all the way through and then it will be installed so I just click next this is the license agreement just click on I agree just for me and this is the location where I'm installing it it will require 2.7 GB of space and I have decent amount of space which is 274.3 GB so no problem at all uh, if you want to change your location you can just click on browse and navigate through I'm just going to keep it as default over here and click on next uh, yeah let's just keep this this one as it is as well click on install installation is now complete I just click on next and next again so I don't need the tutorial, I'll just untick it and getting started with Anaconda, no, that as well. So now I'll just click on finish and we are done with the installation. Now I can just search in my search bar for Anaconda Navigator, which is this one and I can then click on it. So it will open the Anaconda screen for me. It takes a couple of seconds, it's a bit heavy to load, so don't worry about it. So this is where you have multiple different types of IDEs which we can use to work with Python. And we'll be using the Jupyter Notebook. So once you click on launch, it will launch the Jupyter Notebook for you in your browser. So this is the home screen of your Jupyter Notebook environment and this is basically your C user's path. This is where the Jupyter Notebook has opened up and you can always click on new and open the Python file which is Python 3. And over here, uh, this is your cell and you can write small lines of code in here and run each cell. So this is where I will write the first Python program which is print hello world. And sorry. Once I do that, I can just click on cell and run, or I can just click over here, run. There is also a keyboard shortcut available for this, so you can write a line of code which is print name colon josh, and just uh, just press shift enter and it will run for you so that's how you can use Jupyter Notebooks now getting to installing packages in Anaconda so yeah, let me just click this off you can go to environments and over here you are in root environment or base environment so in this environment uh, you have options to see which packages are already available in your current root environment so 
as you can click on install you can see these are the packages which are available and sometimes if you want to install a new package so what you can do is you can click on all and search for a particular package let's say pandas at the moment we can see that there is a green tick mark which means the package is already is available in your environment but if it isn't you can just click or tick on it and then click on ok so it takes a few seconds and then loads and then you'll have the pandas environment or pandas uh, package available in your environment so as soon as you complete this you can again go to your Jupyter notebook and create a new cell over here and just import pandas SPD. so as soon as you do that you can see that it's been now imported into your environment and you can use it so that's how you can work with packages in uh, Jupyter notebook and anaconda so now let's go to PyCharm. Let's see how we can install, how we can download and install PyCharm and then integrate it with the Anaconda environment. So for that, I'll just open my Google Chrome and type for PyCharm download. So this is the first, first search result that I get. I'll just click on it. Over here, uh, this is where you can download PyCharm and I'll select the Windows option and the community version. So make sure that you download the community version because it's free and the professional version you can use it for free for a couple of days and then you'll be asked to pay. So it's better to use community version. So I'll just click on download and that's how it will download for you. Uh, since I have already downloaded it over here I won't re-download it to save, to save some time. I'll just cancel it and I'll go to the folder so this is how my exe version of the file looks like I'm just gonna double click on it and open it just like we installed anaconda there we go I'll click on next this is the path where my PyCharm is getting installed and if you want to change it you can just click on browse and then change but I'm going to choose this one. Uh, also make sure you have enough space in your drive where you're installing it. It takes 800 MBs and I have almost around 270 plus MB, uh, 270 plus GB. So I'm just going to let it be and click on next. So over here, uh, if you want a desktop shortcut, you can take this or not. Uh, I'll just uh, use this option because I find it very handy to open a folder directly as a project. So add open folder as project. I click that. Uh, if you want, you can create associations for any Python file to open as PyCharm. I saw PyCharm file. I, I'll click that as well. And add launches directory to path. So this is very important. I'll click on next. Install. So yeah, you can reboot it now or you can reboot it later. For now, I'll just keep it as it is since I'm recording this video for you guys. So I'll just reboot manually later and now I'll just click on finish so as soon as this is done you can go to PyCharm P -Y -C -H -A -R -M, click on community edition okay so this is the first screen which will open up in front of you so just click on new project so over here you'll build a new project and yeah this is the screen we have to pay attention to so over here this is the location of your project this is the name of your project and you can change it to anything I can just call it first underscore project that's the name of my project and this is the second important part where I'm assigning an environment variable to it so we get three options virtual environment pip environment and conda I'm just go I'm just gonna go ahead and select conda environment so that's that so in Conda environment, uh, yeah, you can name any environment to it. Uh, I'm just naming it the same as my project or you can just call it demo. I'm just going to call it demo. The name of my environment is demo. And you can select the Python version. I'll just go ahead with Python 3.8. This is my Conda script. And as soon as I select these options, I can click on create. And it will create a new project for me. Closer. 
So whenever you create a new Conda environment, by default, it installs a few libraries for you in Python. So that's why it's taking a few seconds to load, install all the libraries. So for this project, it's installing or assigning Python 3.8.8 version and a few other libraries in that Python version, which is pip and then there is certify, wheel and many others. Okay, so looks like our environment is created and our project, first project has also been created. I'll just maximize this and this is your Python script. This is just a default script which is created. You can just remove this all and write a line of code like print hello hello world and uh, this is the script where you can write all the lines of Python code and by pressing this green button which is the run button you'll run this script. So as soon as you select this button See, it has printed hello world in the terminal over here. And that's how we can uh, basically check your code. And uh, in any time you want to install a new library in your environment, all you have to do is go to terminal and then see that you are in the demo environment and then try to install the library. Now you might be thinking, why do I need to install a library? And when will I know I have to install a library? So let's see, you're trying to import pandas. Import pandas as pd you're trying to import pandas in the demo python environment so which is an on this script which is main.py so i'll just try to run this and as soon as i run i can see that i get an error which is called as module not found this error means that the pandas library is not present in the current environment and in order to get rid of this error all i have to do is i'll have to click on this terminal option over here and write pip install pandas and if I run this, it will install the library for me. So now if I try to run this file, I'm pretty sure it won't throw an error since the pandas library is present in the current environment. We can easily import it. So yeah, the library has been imported and then we are printing hello world. So that's a great success. And that's how we can install and run our scripts in PyCharm. Now, let's say you want to use the same demo like demo environment that you have created, which is this one, right? So if you want to use the same environment for some other project, how can you do that? So I'll just close this project. And let's say you want to create a project in Let's say I want to create a project over here. So what I'll do, I'll just uh, go to my PyCharm projects or you can create it anywhere. I'll just select PyCharm projects for that case. So over here, I'll create a new folder. Give it any name that I want to. Let's say it's my second project, S-E-C-O-N-D, P-O-J-C-T. I hit the enter. So yeah, this is my folder name. Now I want to convert this into a PyCharm project. So one way is to open PyCharm and then create a new project. Another way is to create a folder and then right click on it and open it as a PyCharm project. So this is a second way that I'm showing you how we can uh, create a project and write in, run it in PyCharm. So just right click on it and click open folder as PyCharm community edition. So as soon as I open this project in PyCharm, the first thing that I need to do is assign it a Python environment because we need the file to run, right? And for that, we'll have to assign a Python environment. So for that, I'll go to the files, I'll go to settings, and in settings, I'll click on project second underscore project. Over here, I'll click on Python interpreter and instead of creating a new interpreter, I'll choose from the old one, which we have already created. So this is the one. And if I click on show all, it'll show me the 
environment which I've created, which is demo. So if I click on that and click on OK, it will assign that environment. So as you can see, by default or by the packages that we installed previously, these are the packages that it consists of. It has pandas, it has numpy, it has OpenSSL, pip, python, uh, pytz, 6, SQLite and so on. So I can just click on apply. And it takes a few seconds to apply as you can see it over here and then you can click on OK so now this project folder that you created has been assigned the demo interpreter or the demo anaconda interpreter and all the packages present in demo will now be used in this project so I hope that works and as you can see in this a project we did not go to terminal and install PyCharm or sorry and or install pandas but we can directly import it over here import pandas as pd and it won't throw an error the reason being it's already present in the current environment because we are just using the same environment which we created for, for the previous project okay so that's it there are no errors and I hope this is clear. With that, I will complete this video. Have a great day, guys.